We're going to switch into health this morning. Now, Dr. Ross Williams is back with us today. The last time that he was on the show, we talked about digestion. This morning, we're going to focus specifically on gluten sensitivity. This is definitely something that's on the rise, and it's affecting the overall health of millions of people. Dr. Ross, thank you for being back with me this morning. Nice to be here. <laughs> well, it's nice having you back, Dr. Ross. Why don't you start by telling our viewers what exactly gluten is? Okay, well, gluten is a type of proteins. Actually, there's many forms of gluten, but they're proteins that are in uh, grains like wheat, rye, barley, uh, spelt, camet, and some of the others. It's also in, in oats to a lesser degree because there's cross-contamination. Um, but this protein, it, it reacts with the human body and causes problems. People react to it. Mm -hmm. uh, now, yeah. is there more of a sensi sensitivity to gluten than there ever has been, Dr. Williams? Yes, there's been huge increases in, in sensitivities for a number of reasons, uh, chief of which being they, the hybridization of, of wheats and these other grains has uh, dramatically increased the amount of gluten in them since the 50s. Uh, the wheat we eat is not the wheat our great-grandparents ate. Uh, there's like four times as much gluten in it. And oftentimes bakeries add more gluten to products in order to give them binding, like the difference between eating soft white bread and cornbread. Cornbread doesn't have all that gluten in it, whereas the white bread does. It's a binder and a preservative. Mm -hmm. Now, how do you know if you're individually very sensitive to gluten? Well, it's kind of tough for most people. Uh, the worst type is a disease actually called celiac disease, but that's only a tiny percentage of the population. And if you think of a pyramid, they're just at the very tip of how many people have celiac disease. And they actually have um, morphological changes to their intestinal lining. It, it causes serious damage. And uh, that's, but that's, that's a, the, the rest of the population there's such a wide variety of symptoms that it can be very hard to know and even a lot of the laboratory testing is not very accurate so there's some newer labs that are coming up with some tests that are pretty good and if if they come back positive you can rest assured that you have it but unfortunately if they come back negative you're still not quite sure okay. because the the sensitivity of these tests isn't quite strong enough yet but if you just go to your regular doctor's office and they run an IgG antibody test chances are you're going to miss it. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the best ways is to go off gluten for six weeks. Uh, well, write down all your, any symptoms you're having, maybe get a, a, a sheet from your doctor's office about a, it's called like a symptom survey that goes mm -hmm. through all the different areas of the body. And any symptoms you're feeling, you'd write them down, then you go off gluten for six weeks, and then you do it again mm -hmm. and see how things change. And then you go back on. You go ahead and start eating it again. Mm -hmm. and see if anything comes back. That's probably one of the best tests there is right now. Okay. Now, do you know what some of the common symptoms of gluten sensitivity is? The most common are digestive upsets, uh, mental and emotional problems, and autoimmune conditions. So if I have anyone that comes into my office with any of those, one of the first things I think about doing is getting them on a gluten-free diet. Um, because there is, there's a huge connection between the gut and the brain, so that's how the mental-emotional part comes in. You know, people that with ADD, ADHD, mm -hmm. depression, all these things, and they don't know why. Um, sometimes you can just look as close as food, you know, food grains. Mm -hmm. That you're intaking yeah. in your body. Mm -hmm. It can have that big of an impact. Yeah. Now, what if you don't get this taken care of, Dr. Williams? I mean, what are the long-term effects of this? Well, chronic degenerative disease, because what it does is it, it creates inflammation in the gut linings and in organ systems in the body. And as we now know, inflammation is at the core of almost all disease processes, whether it's diabetes or heart disease or, you know, you name it. There's arthritis, there's chronic uh, degeneration, uh, there's some form of inflammation there. And gluten is a big driver of inflammation and auto, auto body formation. That's mm -hmm. Autoimmunity is when your body, your body makes antibodies to attack anything that it perceives as foreign. If you get a bacteria in your body, it'll make an antibody against that bacteria. If you get a weird gluten protein that your body doesn't recognize, it makes antibodies. Mm -hmm. So that's some of the more sophisticated tests. They look for these special antibodies um, to see if you're, you're being exposed and, and reacting to it. Okay, so it's mm -hmm. very important if any of our viewers are having any symptoms like what you just mentioned to get this taken care of. Have you seen people who have gotten their 
problem, their sensitivity to this taken care of, and then seeing the effects that they've had. Oh, yes, it. absolutely mm -hmm. dramatic. In fact, I had a young woman in her 40s who was doing everything right. She's been to a lot of different, not just traditional doctors, but um, functional medicine doctors that are aware of all these issues and mm -hmm. was, was doing everything except the gluten thing. And mm -hmm. when she came in, we, we went through it all, and I, I just suggested that, and within three weeks, changed her life. She lost that extra weight, her energy was back, she, the, the itching and the rashes went away. So, wow. yeah, that's just one of a number of examples. Okay. And yeah. Dr. Williams, do you have a health tip for our viewers this morning? Yes. We're, the health tip would be, uh, people are seeing more and more things that say gluten-free on the box. Mm -hmm. And that's a, those can be good choices, but there's a lot of gluten-free junk food out there. So just because it says gluten-free doesn't mean it's health food. Okay. Um, yeah, they might, it might be full of sugar or the bad oils, things like that. So you have to be sure to check that out. Right. It can be yeah. very deceiving. Well, Dr. Williams, thank you for being back on the show this morning. If you want any more information on Dr. Williams, check out the website you see at the bottom of the screen or give them a call at the number you see. I'll be right back after these messages.